Uh, can everybody hear me? Yeah, we can hear yeah. you. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about Lawyers Don't Qualify, which is about Will, an African-American who wants to vote, but race stereotypes get in the way. Because, yeah, he was an African-American. And we're going to read books and movies that um, that are similar. So the first one we're going to talk about is Remember the Titans. Uh, Remember the Titans is in Virginia, a high school. Football is a way of life. An institution revered each game more lavishly than Christmas. Each off, each playoff distinguished more grandly than any other national holiday. And with such recognition comes powerful emotions. In 1971, high school football was everything to the people of Alexandria. But when the local school board was forced to integrate an all black school with an all white people, the foundation of football was of, of football's great tradition was put to the test. Okay, so this it story... Here, it says here it was released September 23rd, 2000. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this story, the theme of this story is that sometimes you have to go back to your roots to see how far you made it. So this story relates to Liars Don't Qualify because in Liars Don't Qualify... Sometimes the African Americans were treated unfairly and Lars don't qualify. Will, the like main character of the story, he was treated very unfairly for the color he was. And uh we can see he was very he was treated unfairly because there was also a white person that came there and wanted to vote and they immediately regist regist registered to him. Uh, for him to be in the election or to for him to vote but for will he had to be there for like hours and hours just waiting and waiting for them to call him and it's kind of the same thing in remember the titans but like differently because they would sometimes the white people since uh they didn't like black people or african americans they like uh they thought they were lesser yeah, they thought they like saw they weren't good. Like they thought they could pro that white people were better at everything in general. They thought that because of their color or their skin that they were not as good. Yeah, Eli, what do you think about this one? And they call him a boy because they wanted them to feel like they were less than men. Yeah. The African American men. They were men, but the white folks called them boys. Yeah, because they thought they were like weaker in power and everything. Oh, so Eli, what do you have to say about this? I think his mic's not working. Uh, okay. Quentin, what do you want to say about this? You want to add something? Um. I didn't read it, or I read it, but it didn't really make sense to me a little bit. But it says that, um, remember the Titans, uh, the director was Boaz, or I'm not really sure how to say that name, Boaz Yadkin. And the feature song was Na Na Hey Hey Kiss Him Goodbye. <laughs> the producers were Jerry, Jerry Bruckheimer, Bruckheimer, not sure, but, and then there was also Chad Oman, and then the awards was NACP Image Award for Outstanding Motion Picture. Oh, uh, can y'all guys hear me better now? Yeah. Because I was using my, um, yes. my, I was using my my headset microphones. Okay, so now I got the real podcast. Okay, so now uh, who else is gonna go? Cause uh, I'm yeah, pretty sure.
Glory, Glory Road. After being appointed the new coach of the 1966 tennis minors, Don Haskins decided to build a team based on talent rather than race. The conservative town folks <laughs> balked at the new racially diverse lineup, despite the fact that the team is winning all their games when black players like Bobby Joe and the team can Harry F- Flournoy began, began to dominate the court with flashy moves. The racial tens- tensions increased, jeopardizing the future of the team. This, the theme of Glory Days is, is it's, not, it's not about race. It's about who could play the hardest. They're not gonna give up anything to you, so you have to do it yourself. And and this text relates to what liars don't qualify because race plays a big role in both scripts. Yeah, because like in um, uh, you know, like in in liars don't qualify, like roll a uh, race for Sam and Charlie. It they really like, even if he was probably the best at everything they would still think he's the worst cause just because of his, of his color. And like you said, in Glory Road, uh, these, that team did not matter of race. And, with, and because they didn't care of race, they were pretty good. But even the town didn't like that though, like, because normally in this time, in this time period that, we're, that they were in, race was like a big thing. If you were African-American, even if you were like one of the best, uh, who knows, the best at anything, they would still uh, say you're the worst just because of your color. So yeah, Quentin, tell us uh, some facts about probably who made it or yeah, other right. stuff. Um, so it says the release date was January 13, 2006, the U.S. Uh, the director was James Garter. And the producer was Jerry Bruckheimer. And the screenplay was Chris Cleveland, uh, Vita Glalis, and Grenvoy Allen Howard. That, those were the main uh, actors. New Kid. Seventh grader Jordan Banks loved nothing more than drawing cartoons about his life. But instead of sending him to the art school of his dreams, his parents enrolled him in a prestigious private school known for its academics, where Jordan is one of the few kids of color in his entire grade. As he makes the daily trip from his Washington Heights apartment to the upscale Riverdale Academy Day School. Jordan soon finds himself torn between two worlds and not really fitting into either one. Can Jordan learn to navigate his new school culture while keeping his neighborhood friends and staying true to himself? The thing is never give up even when challenged. The author is Jerry Kraft. And this relates to Liars Don't Qualify because racial tension was a deciding factor in both stories. Okay, so um, uh, what do you have to say, Quentin, about it? Give us some details. I think that pretty much sums it up. I couldn't find the release date of it because okay. there were different stories of it. Okay. So I couldn't find the exact release date. I know it. The release date was February the 5th, 2019. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, I think that wraps it up, you know? Do you, uh, does that wrap it up, guys? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so... um. It was re- I really liked doing this podcast with you people, and maybe we could do some more for fun. So, yeah, I guess we'll talk later. Bye, guys.